Freshdesk versus Zendesk, which is better. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a quick comparison between Freshdesk and Zendesk. Both are great tools that provide uh, service and sales solutions and platforms for you to do all of your customer service needs. So both of these platforms have specific uh, versions as well for sales or for marketing or for just general customer service management. And I'm just going to do a quick comparison between the two. So let's get into it. Now, before I jump in and show you guys the actual platform, I'm going to do a quick comparison between the prices of both of these platforms now. Starting off with Freshdesk, Freshdesk is starting off a bit on the upside because Freshdesk has a free version and on the free version you can start with unlimited agents so you can add as many people as you want. You also get email and social ticketing, ticketing dispatch, knowledge bases, trend reports, data center, and team collaboration while Zendesk does not have a free version whatsoever. So. That is a bit disappointing when you want to use a sales or a CRM software for free. So if you're looking for a free CRM software, then you definitely cannot check out Zendesk because they do not have a free version, but they do provide free trials of their paid plans. Now taking another look at the pricing, Freshdesk starts at $15 per agent per month on their growth version, which is their lowest price version, including which also includes automations and marketplace applications, ticket field, custom ticket views and so much more while if we take a look at the lowest paid version of zendesk it starts at 49 dollars per agent per month and they have a ticketing system messaging sms email and voice support help centers ai powered automated answers unified agent workspace uh, and robust apis as well now I must say, if I was to compare the lower priced version, I would definitely say that the growth version is providing you a lot of value for $15 in comparison to the Sweet Team version. Although the Sweet Team version does have like a lot of features uh, that are not provided in the growth version of Freshdesk, it still is not as great as the price that you're going to have to pay on Zendesk. So next up on the pro version of Freshdesk, you have $49 per agent per month, where you also get round robin routing, custom roles, reports and uh, dashboards, customer segmentation, so you can segment different customers, and then you have a uh, multilingual knowledge base support, you have API limits, and you can include up to 5,000 collaborators while on Zendesk. If we take a look that this is like the actual comparison to their lowest price version, which is the Suite team, but if we take a look at the Suite growth version, they have help centers, they have AI-powered automated answers, up to 100 of those, they have unified agent workspace, Spaces, out of the box reporting analytics and a AI powered knowledge based system, including online help support and email and phone help support from the Zendesk team and multilingual support and content. You also get a self service customer portal. Now you can see that this is just a general comparison. I would say that still Freshdesk is providing you with more value and if you are looking to start a paid version I would definitely recommend that you start a trial of both of these but uh, if we were to compare the enterprise version which is the sweet professional on Zendesk which starts at $99 per agent the advanced features include community forums private conversation threads customizable and shareable dashboards advanced voice capabilities data location options and event connector for Amazon web services as well on Freshdesk, you also get a robo assist, you get multiple products, you can have social signals, auto trigger, assistant bots, you can have email bots, you can have a agent ship, you can add specific timing timestamps for your employees for the people that are using the dashboard that you're providing. So, in general, in terms of pricing, Freshdesk is definitely way ahead of Zendesk, but there are certain uh, industry level features that you might want to opt for on Zendesk. Now, if I was to actually go on both of these platforms and take a look, this is the basic platform of Freshdesk. It's pretty neat and I do like their overall dashboard it's neat and it has all of your basic information you don't need to like really um search for your data or information over here everything is pretty self-explanatory and easy to understand now i'm just going to register on to zendesk over here and i'll show you guys how the dashboard on zendesk looks like 
Now you can see over here that this is the basic dashboard of Zendesk. It's also pretty similar to Freshdesk and it does have a pretty similar look on both of these. This is like a lot more modern, I would say. The fonts are a bit less deepened out and they're a little bit more flat. So it does look a lot modern than the Freshdesk overall interface. But in my personal preference, I do like the kind of uh, uplifted look that Freshdesk does have. But I do find that most people find the margin and clean look on Zendesk a lot better. Now you can see over here on both of these platforms the dashboards are similar. You have your basic dashboard, you have your views, so over here you can find all of your tickets, below that you have your customers, after that you have your organizations, and then you have your analytics, and then your basic settings on Zendesk. Now. If you go on to Freshdesk over here, you have your dashboard, you have your tickets, you have contacts, and you have your like general contacts, and you have separate contacts, and then companies, but then you have the solution section as well, and this is one uh, platform or one kind of board that is not present uh, on the Zendesk platform, although they also have customer solutions um, or like solutions for you. Uh, Freshdesk actually provides you with a separated uh, category where you can actually find all of your knowledge base and find all data information that you might need while using Freshdesk. Now below that you have your reports and analytics and these are two separated sections where you can get specific reports and specific analytics while on Zendesk you only have general reporting and then you can get you know start taking a deeper view at the reporting section and uh, start exploring it more to receive your analytics as well but there is a separation in the fresh desk panel now if you were to actually begin using and starting your ticketing system if you click on over here and you're going to see on your top you have your messaging calls you have your notifications and you can't really create new tickets over here you're going to have to click on here on the left the left top and you can choose if you want to create a ticket user organization it's pretty similar on fresh disk as well it, they just have their new button over here on the right side where you can choose to create a new ticket email contact or company so in general usability both of them are same there are certain features that you're going to find that uh, zendesk actually excels in because Zendesk is a lot more professional. If you were to work at an enterprise level, you would feel the difference with Zendesk. But if you're working in a small business or a small company, you only have like a couple of thousand people, then you can definitely choose Freshdesk because they are also available for free and you're going to end up paying a lot less money for Freshdesk. But if you want some enterprise level features like their overall ticketing system, their automations, their AI bots, and their customer support, then I would recommend that you should try out Zendesk as well. In my opinion, go with Freshdesk and try out both of these, but in my opinion, I have found Freshdesk to be a lot simpler and easier, but if you want to try out Zendesk as well, do give it a shot. And I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to choose the better sales and CRM software for you. And to end it on a good note, I would like to request you guys that if you found this video helpful or if you found this method exactly what you wanted or what you were looking for, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and sharing it with your friends and family who might learn a thing or two from this video or learn a thing or two from the hundreds of videos that we have on our channel. And of course, if you have any questions any queries about anything in this video or with related to our entire channel or any of our videos, make sure to leave a comment down below and ask us what you want from our videos. I tried to cover everything I could in this video, but if you want to see more details of the methods or the ways in this video, just let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to make more videos on your suggestions. At the end of the day, it's all about providing you guys with valuable content that could help and still a positive change in your life and hopefully your friend and family's life as well. And at the end, I would like to request you to make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel as it helps out our videos a lot. And again, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, goodbye.